Jefferson County 911. Yes, I am a teacher at Columbine High School. There is a student here with a gun. He has shot out a window. I believe one of them is shot. Columbine High School. I don't know what's in my shoulder. If it was just a last thing to do it. Okay, has anybody been injured, ma'am? Yes. Okay. The horrific massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. Losing six dedicated educators and 20 first grade students in a matter of just a couple of minutes to a disturbed young man with access to a weapon designed for war is forcing all of us, is forcing all of us to confront some very, very difficult questions. You know, I hope that we don't come to the point where we have gun safety 101 here. I think that it's a good idea for everyone to be educated on, on gun safety. I don't know that that should be the job of the school system. Certainly students and staff should be aware of what happens uh, in the event of an active shooter and everyone know their proper place and how to respond to an active shooter or to go for security and safety reasons. Debate.org hosted a survey asking the questions whether or not teachers should be able to carry guns in school. 53% of people believe that teachers should be able to carry a firearm and 47% disagree. People for teachers carrying guns believe that it's best for students' safety. If teachers carried guns, a shooter would less likely target the school considering that he or she would be outnumbered. For those who are against it, they believe allowing teachers to carry a firearm on them would cause more danger than safety. Students would have a greater chance of stealing a teacher's firearm versus an SRO. I think if we can provide a school resource officer or train law enforcement personnel in every school, that would be a great situation. Obviously, economics come into play with that, but having a school resource officer that is trained to identify dangerous situations before they happen. We, we, we have looked into that possibility uh, financially. Uh, that, that is not a situation that we are in at this moment. School resource officers are similar to regular police officers. They are both able to make arrests, respond to calls for service, and document incidents that occur in their own jurisdiction. The main difference is that school resource officers are able to mentor the youth, so they'll be able to identify a situation with a firearm and also prevent it. Not all schools are able to afford a school resource officer. These schools have taken other measures to increase student safety, such as metal detectors, locking their doors, drills, and cameras. We've endured too many of these tragedies in the past few years. And each time I learn the news, I react not as a president, but as anybody else would, as a parent. I, I very much agree, and, and uh, as a matter of fact, it, it, just, it, it just seems logical to me that if the President of the United States, President Barack Obama, can send his kids to a heavily armed school, why are our kids any less important than the President's kids? My personal opinion, and looking at the research, I believe there should be, if possible, a weapon in the school. But it should be on a trained law enforcement personnel. I believe the best source to personally respond is somebody that's trained to carry it, have availability on it, and has the mindset that they are there to protect the kids 100% of the time and have the ability in that critical second to respond with it there and know how to use it at that time. In our community and in many other communities throughout the United States are school faculty members who are part of a first response team. This response team is able to take charge if a crisis were to occur. There are safe students throughout the school whom only the fingerprints of members of the first response team are able to open. This is believed to be a safe and effective route for our schools, but some question whether this is a better route, considering we are uncertain of the teachers mentally or whether or not they are truly qualified to operate a firearm. Not all the time, but most of the time the active shooters have been um, individuals that have a grudge against perhaps a teacher or a school employee, and it's not so much actually the students um, in that actual school, but perhaps graduates of that school, dropouts, um, what have you. But having a school resource officer that is trained to identify dangerous situations before they happen looking at kids in bullying situations before they come into the school, I think that provides a valuable asset. It's not only the response to the situation, it's identifying, learning, and preventing. We have seen the, the morals in this country go down the two. Um, I think there's less family structure than there uh, has been uh, from, from years past. 
I certainly think that uh, different shows and programs that are viewed on TV uh, would certainly, I think, contribute uh, to the overall rise in violence. Instant messaging, Facebook, people know things instantly throughout the school, which can cause different issues of bullying and different feelings among the kids that we have to take a look at. John Shu, the superintendent of Sydney High School in Sydney, Ohio, believes that if there's a will, there's a way. He believes that any student who plans on shooting the school will sneak a gun through a window or an open door, therefore passing through the metal detectors. Also aware of what was just passed in the Ohio General Assembly to give school districts the authority to go ahead and permit and authorize concealed carry weapon in the schools. School districts and state legislators are pushing for gun education in the classroom. Gun safety programs for children are spreading throughout the United States. Measures such as the NRA's Eddie Eagle Gun Safe Program are being taught in elementary schools. Eddie Eagle teaches kids don't touch, leave the area, and tell an adult when they see a gun. Many states have tried to pass a bill to make this program mandatory in elementary schools, although none were successful.